Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader. Uh, this is the blind playthrough on unfair difficulty. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of this. It's time to take our four comrades and uh, flee this unfortunate scene. In order to do that we must win a couple of arena matches and I have no idea what we're up against but this is going to be interesting let's see how we're going to fare with this team it's the first time that we're fighting with a real absolutely uh, mm, true space marine in our ranks Ulfar has joined us and I'm so excited that guy cannot take uh, cover but he's a space marine so whatever Alright, so we got Marakai's group fighting there. And this here seem to be our enemies. Your kind has no place in the galaxy. You'll suffer exquisitely. Alright, well. Um, early it might be here, Psyche so here, Argenta here. Well, it seems like a good uh, trade. All right, Psyche. So Descend upon the weak. Starts getting, uh, giving Ulfar a uh, turn. Who brings up his versatility? Four. I like that. And what are we going to shoot at first? I like the idea of killing something back there. A couple of good hits, that's 120 points of damage. Not too bad for a initial round. Alright, Ulfar gets a free kick. I absolutely love that. Takes a wound in return, but that's okay, we're healing ourselves. Just give me some milk. Whoa, he is hitting hard. I love it. Let's try that yet again. Can we reload? No, we cannot. Well, rest was okay so far. My wow. 85 points of damage? Really? As the Emperor commands, I act. All right. Without deeds is worthless. Let's get a couple of these do guys it. down here. It's good for a start. As the Emperor commands, I eradicate it. As an execution was well, good. I'll do it. Another execution. We're good. We're moving 
We're moving there. I will triumph. Purpose guides me. So the seeds of discord. Let's hit both of these guys. One down, one severely injured. I will Argenta try. gets a new turn. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'll do it. This is why I was chosen. Almost gets him down. Second goes for full cover again. Far pushes the guy back and lets him know that he's not up for any of those games. Reloads. That was raw. We're up to 14. Unfortunately, these guys are hitting hard. Everybody here seems to try to take a couple of steps at Wolfgar. I don't like that. Let's go. This guy here needs to fall down. Which we successfully do. <clears throat> and now that he is on the ground, he cannot stab us. Guided by faith. Faith without deeds is worthless. Another hit. We're at eight stacks. Not quite the fifteen that I was hoping for, but Almost we're doing well. Me. Two hundred something hit points worth of damage. That was very good. Let's go. Give me a couple of shots. Uh, all of that. Unfortunately dodged. Couple of good hits there. I like it. Somehow can't enter the portal. I challenge you, Duncan. Don't 
doubt is for the weak. As the Emperor commands, I act. All right. Get this guy. Fantastic. Um. And listen, I think that is still good enough. Let's use the sniper. Nope. Keep on going. Stupid, that was the wrong shortcut. Oh man. Through chaos I stride. No medic I needed. Just give me some milk. Come on, Saiken, that was by far the most stupid thing you that you could I have done. No guidance. Shouting at your own ally. Yeah, I deserve that hit. Let's not talk about that fight. Let's not talk about it. Your former captives, you have a chance to rectify the mistakes uh, that made you forfeit your Archon's favor. Uh, I doubt Ymiris will change uh, their mind. Marsai glances at the witches, his eyes brimmingly, uh, brimming with a sea of powerless rage. A moment later he looks at you, his expression changes slightly. One eyebrow arcing as if he's trying to make some agonizing decision. Offer still stands. Would you consider switching sides? Eladnach. Oh, you're still you're joking, says Ulfar. Foolish monkey. The former dracon of Reven Tempest is the property of the cult, and only the Sukubai have the right. Your offer is accepted, monkey. Oh, nice. <laughs> Uh, only these guys have hit point bars. The first one, uh, the the other ones don't. That is strange. All first ends here. Agenda, Psych and Earliot. Increase resolve and uh, Argentus turn. Me. Doubt is for the weak. Um. Yeah, let's just give them a good, um, nice little border shot. These guys seem to be indestructible here. They've taken no damage. Oh well. Maybe their wounds are just not showing. Pain is oblivion approaches. You'll try harder.
You cannot force me, Elantak. I understand your intent. Okay, so <sighs> if this I must, guy, I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. Opening him. How difficult is it to hit him? Not very much. We're getting if a good shooting position, course. and let's hit him. This tedium is beneath. Me. <laughs> if it serves your cause, I'll return the pain. Very, very fight. small bits of damage. Let's try this. this. Not sure if we're really dealing damage. These guys are not seemingly taking a lot of damage. Four uh, percent. That is absolutely rotten. Faith without deeds is worthless. Let's try to see if we can hurt them. As the emperor commands, I act. <laughs> yeah, we can, but they are unexpectedly tough as well. I'll do it. God, emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Doubt is for the weak. <laughs> you will pay for this in blood. I uh, definitely need devastating attack to get them down. I hunger for battle. Push. That means this is blocked and no one can get in. That's good. Next up, more damage. Here we go. Couple of good hits. I like that. Keep that energy. We're healing ourselves just for a little bit more versatility, really. I don't like that. Hundred six eighty-six. Well, this guy is down to hundred sixty as well. We dealt a lot of damage. need more resolve because we need heroics very very soon one step that closer. and that and more damage Uh, 
Spend that, and Ulfar gets another turn. Good hit. Another kick for free. And he's emptying his gun. Did we kill one? Yes, we did. Don't dishonor the wolf with such tasks. By the wolf's side. Good, that gives us twenty-five momentum because of Saigon's uh um, Saigon's packed and now it's more a question of give me that those extra shots here. Alright, that bolter strikes true. Come on. I need no guidance. So the seeds of discord. That was a fantastic hit. Many more hit points, 130. All right. We put that in here. Uh, we put this that in here. And a hit for next round. Papa's guides me. Come on. No weakness mm. is hidden from my sight. Fabulous. That was good. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. Alright, can we give someone else another turn? No, we cannot. But we can One do this. And that, and this here, which should kill them. Fantastic. The remaining damage spilled over to here and killed them. Since there is a kill earlier, it immediately gets another turn. And we do this and. If it serves your cause. We give Argenta reshaped. more turns. We're doing well. I like how things are turning out. I'll do it. Give me this. And we have a little bit of that. You, my emperor, you the real and we need more worthless. versatility stacks. The final is bloody as it is disappointing. Pathetic amateurs who were wrongfully proclaimed champions in the arena have been brought down by the hands of the unworthy challengers and pale the failures and glory to the victor. Get out, monkey, and tell your Tervancius that he will pay for this insult. Well now, one can only marvel at the flickle turns of fate, rogue trader. I will do what the Elatar did not have the courage to do. Ah, cousin. Oh, wow, cousin. You've inexplicably managed to earn the forgivingness of the one that you betrayed and pushed into Komorak's embrace. You lauded Ashuriani's restraints is failing as much as it has before. Well, it hesitates for a few moments, shrieks under the mocking gaze of the Drukhari. So, monkey, you really intend on escaping from Kazm, are you? Bold ambitions.
Uh, I've no desire to die for the spectator's amusement. I take neither have you. Never. I will break out of this arena, avoid the cult's executioners, and make Yirmes and Nazarkre pay for every moment of my humiliation. They will take us to chasms now. Let us talk somewhere quiet. The Shriekers then will do. Yes, we have much to discuss. I will have head there now. Oh, we get him as a companion? No way. The world trembles. Oh, this game is feet. cool. I like what I'm seeing. Wait, 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 wait. Hikari Blade of the Bloodthirst is a unique weapon, right? Okay, understood. Let's seize the opportunity. Interesting. Still haven't found the rest of our crew. We're making do with this makeshift crew. Reinforced Cabalite armor. I think this is better. Wow, if we could get this guy then our arch enemy would have joined us. I mean, it's a little bit uh, whack because he had annoyed us so much that I would have really, really liked paying it back to him. But having him on side also means that I would have 10 companions. So finally, my idea of two teams is uh, coming to fruition. That's a massive blaster here. Deadshot splinter rifle. That's a pretty decent... wow. And that is toxic shot, dead eye shot. But it also has a normal rifle uh, modus. That's not bad. This rifle looks awesome. Fabulous. My instincts tell me to refuse. Good. The one thing that I learned about Ulfar is he is potentially quite hungry for mad kids, but his weapon is good. If we could give him even a heavier weapon, that would be awesome. He dealt so much damage, man. Intriguing. The rogue traders suddenly grow smaller. The reason for the departure did not sound particularly convincing. What's wrong? The rogue trader's retinue has suddenly grown smaller. The reasons for the departure have not sound particularly convincing, but it would be as to investigate what's happening in the Shrieker's Den pit. They will potentially f I want to fight each other. Unexplored.
At least that's what I'm thinking would happen. Listen, here's the deal. We are small enough as a group as it is. Commissar, my brothers and sisters, it's time to meet our greatest ally. Rogue trader Syke and Van Valencius himself is part of the resistance. I ask you, how can we fail with someone so mighty at our side? The Melisphian Xenos have already tried to kill him in the arena, yet the efforts were not. The Emperor protects. Traitor, you condemned us to death. You lied to us, and now you have your exact retribution. Sister Agenta, what are those accusations I'm hearing? Could it be the horrors of combat that have rattled you? Or is the cunning enemy poised your mind with wicked influence? Argenta, stop, or else those who know the whole truth might suffer. The righteous will hear the truth in our words. All right, Argenta, let me be the one. Nope. All right, not happening. I'm the name of the Emperor. I sentence you to death. Ioko so it yeah. My brothers and sisters, we've been betrayed to battle. Listen to me, the Commissar is a liar and traitor who has sent many people to their death uh, to save his own hide and say on the Xenos good si uh, side. Seize him. And we got a Commissar cap. Grants the wearer fellowship, also grants the wearer critical hit chance. Both to the wearer and their allies. Okay, well, that's pretty damn impressive. That's a good cap. One that Cassia would very much use. Time seems to stand still as you enter. Figures cast in shadows, hurdle against the wall, turn upon you every. One except a few standing frozen in the middle of the room with their weapons in hand. May thy will fortify my hand. May my faith in thee grant me strength. Nimble pest, aren't you? Could have surrendered without a fight. I would have snapped your neck and spared you the torment. What are you waiting for? It's about time that we finish our little dance. I can continue dancing with you a long, long time, but I'm growing weary. What's growing on? Not all of your lekais were as well trained as uh, as soon as I crossed the threshold of a squalid hole I was forced to take up arms. The abomination that you've allowed into the ranks of the companions must die. This is his will and my duty, rogue trader. Oh there. I decided to unwind by chasing the stingy uh, stringy sinos across the ceiling. Join me, Edvator. I don't know, save Marisai's life so you can take the matters in your own hand. Put your weapons down, all of you. I will not oppose you, rogue trader, though my soul may clamor for the destruction of this foul thing. But I will wait for it to give me a cause. I'll wait for it eagerly. If you like case, have seen enough of the show. I have business to discuss with you, Saiken. Marzai is casually inspecting his armor for damage seemingly unperturbed by the attempted reprisal against him. Monkey. Rogue trader. There is something you must do for me. What do you need? The soul of Erimeris, the Archon of the Reaving Tempest. It should belong to me. I do not know where, I do not know how, but that bitch tried to dispatch me without sullying her own hands and she deserves to lose her life. Her soul will remain in my soul trap. When we at last face each other, and we will face each other, even if I have to gut all of Kamora to do it, and if you're there when it happens, do not even think of trying to deliver the final blow. Only an Aziriesh has the right to take the life of an Aziriesh. 
And that right is mine. Okay, well. What do you want with her soul? Simply killing her is not enough for me. No, it is too banal. Keeping her imprisoned for all eternity in a cage of misery from which there is no escape. That is a fate more to my liking. Her fury and torment will feed me until her spirit dries up like a fountain of blood spraying from a sliced artery. And also, it might make her resurrection problematic. All right, very well. Shall we encounter her at any point? I shall allow you to deal the final blow. Mm. The answer I was expecting. I do not expect to wait long for the confrontation. When my sister learns of what occurred in the arena, she will send assassins or decide to come herself. Azarai breaks off all his attention, is now focused on a bent plate in his shoulder. A second later, he grips the edge of the plate with a strangled groan, tears it off, a piece of dislodged uh, with a hiss. Marzai begins to straighten the bent plate with his hands, revealing the surprising strengths contained within his lean body. Look at what it was covering. You are shocked to find no under armor or clothing. It seems the thin, light armor is attached directly to the Drukhari's pale skin, roped uh, with veins. You notice two pr pinprick marks surrounding the purplish bruise. Something pierced his flesh here, and that uh, it uh, is what kept the armor plate in place. What are you looking at? You almost held on with hooks that dig into your body. Correct. Directly into the nerve centers. Direct stimulation of the trigger points, provoking constant, unrelenting pain. Do you know how pleasurable it feels when your suffering rings out in unison with another's? The overwhelming ecstasy. I can show you that world. I can teach you, if you do as you are told. I don't need that. <laughs> Very true. Let us see how you handle the tasks I've already given you. Remember, Irimaris is mine whenever and wherever we encounter her. With that... That guy is the strangest of all companions that we have. Find Pascal in the streets. All right, Pascal, my man. Resistance, resistance fighters look at you with a mixture of fear and deep respect. They do not fit the guts to break the silence. All right, execute Malice and the Commissar for the glory of his deeds and the glory of humanity. In the name of the God Enter, I sentence you both to death. That is a fitting ending. That's a very fitting ending. Luckily, we are dogmatic. Wow, we got a lot of good stuff. So, what did we just get? 
If one of the wearer's combat tactics is uh, active in combat, uh, the wearer gains a lot of intelligence and fellowship. That is fantastic. Uh, Cassia is perfect. After triggering a psychic phenomenon or perils of warp, the wearer immediately gains an extra turn. Uh, that one isn't bad. Uh, then we got every time when more than two targets are damaged by the wielder's area attack. Okay, that is even better. That is fantastic. Seal of Purifier. Uh, each time the wearer uses a minor psychic power, all allies affected by this power gain one stack, uh, stack of the luck effect. Um, thick luck allows wearers to re-roll a um, failed dodge or parry t uh, test. Hmm. I don't know what a minor psychic power is. But giving um, everybody luck effects, that is pretty damn good as well. Hmm. I like the spirit drape, uh, which allows us to just buff in the first round even more. This is super AP efficient. This might be something for Heinrichs, the luck thickener. When the wearer uses press the advantage, then their allies increase the resolve. Um, what is press the advantage again? I think I think it was here. Perfect spot, no, no, no. Press the advantage. Okay, cool. That is the Master techni um, Tactician. Okay, cool. So, whenever the warrior uses press the advantage, they and their allies increase their resolve. Ooh, that is also very, 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 very good. Because resolve means just more momentum. Hmm, do we have anyone else who is using press the advantage? Is this really good? Hmm. All right, to round up today's episode, let's find Pascal. I have leveled up all of the others and we got decent equipment on each of them so I think at least we're a team. Now it's important to find Pascal and then still Cassia and Heinrichs are missing. By the way I also thought about what should the main team be and I think Abelard will need to move to the second team. I love him to death, but I want the first team to be as dogmatic as possible, so Ulfar is going to join for Abelard. And yeah, we're essentially going to use uh, that to our advantage. And the second team would be Abelard, plus uh, the two Xenos, plus Irelia. The world trembles Plus beneath Jay. my feet. Keep a sharp eye. Triumphant, as
as always. Predictable. Never doubt me. Wow, interesting. Even those um, corpses have good equipment. When the warrior uses run and gun, they gain damage on the ranged attacks and do not suffer winded. That is a fantastic um, little bonus. That, however, is also a really good bonus. And hot on the trail. Oh, okay, that's something for her. So, whenever the warrior is using hot on the trails, extra turn is triggered. I think that's a great option for her. Instead of the agility boots. All right. Good. Where is Pasco? There we go. My good boy. What happened to you? Pascal does not look at you. His gaze is focused inside his own body. There is a horrible gaping wound in his chest and you can see glitching, clanging me mechanisms squirreling within. Pascal has plunged his fingers into the white, dripping more at the wound and is in the process of palpating his metal uh, innards with great care. Pascal, can you hear me? Yes. Pascal looks at you, his skin is yellowish and clammy from the lubricant-like sweat. What happened to you? An act of defilement. This is the subject of Provane invasion. Exynos touched by the Ferrum Sanctum, removed parts of it and changed other parts. Branded my true flesh with, un, uh, with alkers of forbidden metal. Is the way I can help you? The impure augmentations were inserted into the technical cycle of the operations of the true flesh. The direct ex uh, excision will, with an undeterminated yet high degree of probability, cause the secession of vital functions. What exactly did they change? Detecting numerous replacements in the chain of commands of distributors, the chemical injected analyzer has been destabilized. We will deal with it later. Request denied due to violation of Ninth Universal Law. Let's try to persuade him. Of course, it didn't work. Now it's time to focus on regaining our freedom. Cleansing process initiated. The process will be completed. This unit is ready to serve. Praise the Messiah. Hell yeah! Alright, let me level him up.